हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टुडे आई विल डिस्कस रोटेशनल रोमन स्पेक्ट्रा ऑफ डायटोमिक मॉलिक्यूल आई विल नॉट डिस्कस सिमेट्रिक टॉप एंड ए सिमेट्रिक टॉप मॉलिक्यूल रोटेशन हियर बिकॉज दो टॉपिक आर नॉट इन नेट एंड गेट सिलेबस सो आई विल डिस्कस ओनली मीनियर डायटोमिक मॉलिक्यूल हियर सो विच टाइप ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल कैन शो रोटेशनल रमन स्पेक्ट्रा सो एवरी मॉलिक्यूल कैन शो रोटेशनल रमन स्पेक्ट्रा आइदर इट हैज डायपोल मोमेंट और नॉट सो होमोन्यूक्लियर डायटोमिक मॉलिक्यूल और हेट्रोन्यूक्लियर डायटोमिक मॉलिक्यूल बोथ कैन शो रोटेशनल रमन स्पेक्ट्रा सो एज आई प्रीवियसली डिस्कस दैट इनर्जी ऑफ अ नॉन रिजिड डायटोमिक मॉलिक्यूल वच E J is equal to B J J plus one minus D J square J plus one whole centimeter. So in case of rotational Raman, the centrifugal distortion constant D is not very much effective. That it has to be considered in this equation. So that's why they have neglected it, and that's why they have neglected these portion. From this equation, and the energy of a rotational Raman spectra is E J is equal to B J J plus one centimeter in mass. So this is the energy for a linear diatomic molecule which is Raman active. So here the selection rule which is applied in the case of rotational Raman is delta J is equal to zero plus minus two. So this is the selection rule which is applied here. Why the selection rule is plus minus two? Because the symmetry of polarizability ellipsoid. It is due to the symmetry of polarizability ellipsoid. Means what? The molecule is in ellipsoid form. Means its polarizability. Suppose the mole in initial case the molecule is like this plus minus, and we are considering here end over end rotation, not the along the axis rotation. Because if any molecule, suppose this is the molecule and it is polarized in plus and minus form, so if it is rotating along the axis, then there will be no change in the polarizability of this molecule. So that's why we are not, uh, we will not take along the axis rotation. Here we will take only end over end rotation. Means like this way. Okay. So if this molecule here, if here this is a positive charge polarization, here this is negative charge. And then after each 90 degree rotation, you can see here that the molecule will go in this direction, positive and negative. And after 90 degree rotation, it will go in positive and negative. And then further, after 90 degree, it will go downward positive direction. Means positive charge will go downward direction. And after this rotation, it will come in original state as it was in previous first one. So you can see here that. In each rotation, polarizability ellipsoid means it's it is it is changing in two times. Uh, here, this is suppose H H molecule. So after 90 degree rotation, it will go here here, and after 90 degree, it will come again, and then after it will go in this. So during a complete rotation, there is a change of plus two means uh, it is changing two times symmetrically. So that's why they have taken here. Plus minus two. So now come to the another point. So for delta J plus uh, plus two or minus two. So here I am supposing that I am um, checking for the absorption spectra. So molecule will go from uh, suppose it is going from J to J plus two state. Then what will be the energy difference? Energy difference will be delta E J is equal to E J plus two minus E J. And then it will be delta E J is equal to B four J plus six centimeter inverse. So it will be the difference of the energy from the J plus two to J. So what will be the frequency? The frequency it is the energy in terms of centimeter inverse. So obtained energy will be uh, this much. This is the new scattered minus new incident. This is the energy. So this will go in this direct, uh, this side, right hand side. Then scattered radiation 
will be equal to the new excitation plus minus delta ej means new excitation plus minus b 4j plus 6 so here you can see that plus minus so plus is for means there is an increasement of the energy means that is anti stokes line and for negative sign it is showing that decreasement of the frequency that is the stokes line so i am plotting here a curve uh, spectra uh, for uh, diatomic molecule so here j is equal to 0 level 1 level 2 level 3 level and 4 level so you can see that uh, both the transition are equally probable means either it is absorption by the scattering radiation uh, sorry by the incident radiation or emission both are equally probable so the intensity of the stroke sign or anti stroke sign is not very much changed means there is no very much difference in the intensity of the stroke sign or anti stroke sign so from this equation uh, there is a many basic question which is asked in gate and net exam in many times uh, relating to this equation and this equation and also this selection rule uh, so here i am going to discuss the next one very important thing that uh, first stokes line where will be the first stokes line so when delta uh, means uh, you will get new scattered radiation is equal to new excitation plus plus for the anti strokes and minus for the strokes so i am considering here strokes line so it will be new excitation minus b 4j plus 6 so when j will be 0 then it will give the first strokes line means first strokes line will be new excitation minus 6b so 6b so you will get suppose i am considering here this is the new excitation of the molecule and new excitation means if you are getting new excitation in the spectrum means uh, that means you are getting Rayleigh line not the anti strokes not the strokes so if you are getting 6b lesser in uh, if you are getting a line uh, uh, less than 6b means uh, 6b distance lower than this one new excitation then that will be the strokes line first strokes line so first strokes line you will get on the 6b distance from the new excitation what will be the second line second line will be if you will put here j is equal to 2 then 2 into 4 uh, sorry j is equal to 1 so 1 into 4 means 4 plus 6 means 10b so from new excitation you will get at 10b that will be the second strokes uh, strokes line okay and similarly for the anti strokes line you will go for new scattered radiation will be new excitation plus b 4j plus 6 so when you will put j is equal to 0 then you will get plus 6b means plus 6b means anti strokes line plus 10b that means second anti strokes line okay so for any two consecutive strokes line or any two anti strokes line hmm, suppose i am considering here second and third okay. what is the distance between the second strokes line and third strokes line that is nothing but 4b so you have to remember there are many questions which are asked in net and get exam about this spectrum line so if you are considering the third line and second line then you will get 4b difference and if you are considering the first line then you will get at 6b distance so this these this is the very basic concept of the rotational Raman spectra uh, which can be asked in net and get exam so now i am coming to the next part of this rotational uh, molecule so for uh, now we have learned that uh, any molecule which has either permanent dipole moment or not permanent dipole moment th that will be the Raman active molecules means there is a change in the polarizability of that molecule that's why that molecule is uh, Raman active okay now there is a nuclear spin effect 
that can also affect the spectrum of any rotational Raman spectra molecule. Suppose if you are checking the spectrum of oxygen molecule, then since the oxygen molecule nuclear spin is zero, so this is the region behind that in case of oxygen you will not get even line you will not get even line for the oxygen molecule means if j is equal to 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 then these lines will be absent in the spectra of oxygen molecule means here the nuclear spin also affect the rotational Raman spectra of the molecule so this is the very 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 important question which is asked in one times in gate 2008 or 2007 so it is very important question so next one is uh, if the molecule has suppose there is a h2 molecule which has nuclear spin i is equal to 1 by 2 so in this case for even and odd line you will get different intensity so there is a no question uh, for uh, that such type of molecule so they have asked uh, this oxygen molecule question in one times and they have asked that uh, second b uh, second line and four line uh, for stokes line and they have given uh, frequency and they were asking what will be the rotational constant b value so we have to careful about what will be the second and third line so if you will consider here j is equal to 0 then from j is equal to 0 you will get first line at j is equal to 1 but second line will not be j at j is equal to 2 means second line will be at j is equal to 3 so this thing you have to care about okay so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and I will from uh, in my next video I will discuss about the vibrational Raman spectra of diatomic molecule. Thank you so much for watching this video.